I think what makes it richer for me is the stories. The brothers on the horses behind us in the truck. Sam harvesting cochineal and cactus leaves. The red handprints at the cave. The landscape. And the two horses under the full moon. You can only read so many books, you can only watch so many videos, but you're never really gonna know what it's like until you get there. Being here, it's, it's so much richer. It's important to me as a photographer to showcase the diversity of indigenous people because even though I am an indigenous person, this is so different. We are in Teotitlan del Valle in Oaxaca, which is a very incredible community of Zapotec people. <laughs> Recently, I have been learning more about indigenous communities. I had connected with Samuel about their rugs, and I have always wanted to come visit, and I feel like when I'm able to travel and when I'm able to learn through people, through their, their craftsmanship or through their artwork, it gives it more meaning to me to learn from them. I work as a photojournalist. I always feel like my camera gives me a purpose. I think I'm able to create work that showcases beauty because I see the beauty that people have to offer. Growing up, people would come into our communities and just kind of show like the ugliest sides of it. And I was always like, why can't you show the beautiful? Like, what's wrong with that? And so I feel like I almost got into making work as almost like a rebellion, like to, to show that there was so many beautiful sides to us. I always tell people to look up Native American photography and it's always going to be photos done a hundred years ago. And that's really interesting to me because I think it feeds into the erasure of indigenous people because we're obviously alive and living today and still contributing to society. I'm always looking for that human connection in a way where they don't realize that I'm, I'm seeing it, that they don't realize that I'm, I'm there and I'm photographing. It's out of respect for the people and it's respect for their story. I hope that people see vibrant, rich storytelling of contemporary people that are diverse. <laughs> Whenever I do work in indigenous communities, it's always really joyous to me because I'm, I'm making work of a people that are still very much alive.